there is a family and their home is invaded by four strangers who have been asked to make a choice of sacrifice to save humanity. Why are you here? I suppose I'm here to make friends with you and your dads too. I believe in this type of storytelling that when you come to the movie theater, you want to see something incredibly powerful, incredibly emotional, experiential, but you want it to be bigger than life and feel something bigger than life. There is no place to run. There's no place to hide. So I think it's like layers of nightmares in this film. I'm very drawn to stories of confinement and telling very large stories through a small window. That constriction, that balance, a juxtaposition of the size of the story and the way we're telling it is very exciting to me. Families throughout history have been chosen to make this decision. Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you. If you fail to choose, the world will end. It just takes you on this journey of your imagination, You're just going to the worst places. But I think that's what makes it terrifying. I think it's just that feeling of being unsafe. There's something quite seductive about apocalypse movies I've always found. It kind of combines two of my biggest nightmares, uh, home invasion and the apocalypse. I suppose what really struck me was that it was brave enough to go on a kind of deeply spiritual journey, even though it's in a very interesting and kind of shocking way. And that's the, the goal and try to aspire to, that we make a movie that feels singular.